Hey guys, Joe here, and here I am to make a new video which one of you had requested, and that is, of course, the top 5 most balanced characters in Super Smash Bros. 4. Now, these characters, I feel, are all pretty good characters, they're all okay in their own right, and they're all pretty good at everything. They're kind of jack-of-all-trades, really aren't the best at anything, but really aren't the worst at anything. Pretty good, you can use them pretty much whenever you want to, and overall, I really like most of these characters, and I do hope that you guys do enjoy. If you do enjoy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and in the comment section below, tell me what type of top 5 you want for next week, and I'll be going over that next week. Thank you guys for watching, and let's get this started. Wario is a very unorthodox pick in Super Smash Bros., and he has slash will continue to be played as such. He has a very strong bike projectile, great aerials, a fart which is pretty cool, and powerful smashes that are very slow, so they're pretty counterable. Also to mention, he does have the bite, which is a pretty much an arrow grab to break through shields, and gives him a lot of combos. Overall, he has a lot of combos also with his Nair and his Fair, and he does pretty well with them. He can't go 0 to 50 like Luigi, but he can still do pretty high damage. He has to go in and out with attacks, and he really can't just go ham tower all the time. Finally, Wario really does have an amazing recovery that can let him back on the stage from pretty much anywhere on the stage with his bike, and also makes it really hard to gimp him, giving pretty good matchups for him versus most characters in the game. Peach is a character that is extremely hard to play right now, with all of her float cancels and defensive plays and all the stuff like that, but also a character that gets really handily rewarded for all of her plays that she does make. Most of Peach's moves come out pretty fast, do high damage, and combo pretty well, or just kill pretty much at the same time. Once again though, she does have a lot of counterplay, mostly because all of her attacks have a lot of end lag or startup lag, and force her to bait the opponent a lot of times with her shield, in order to get a lot of the sneaky attacks, or in order to get a sneaky grab because a lot of the punts won't see a grab coming as Peach. As Peach, you really have to play a lot of hit and run, which can be pretty hard and makes her not really good at getting in on the opponent, but she does make up a lot for that with her great defensive power, even though she does have the weakness, which is not being very good at offense. Bowser Jr. is a pretty forgotten character that was really never all that popular. He has a really weird playstyle with a projectile item thing, that being his down B, uh, his aerials are mid-speed, and his kill moves are just okay, and he has pretty much average everything. His recovery is pretty strong as far as how much it goes up and it exploding, but at the same time it's very counterable with something like a Mario side B or down B, and can really be punished very easily if he misses the edge. Bowser Jr. is pretty good at everything, but once again, really not the master at much. He does have great smash attacks with great potential because all of his wonkiness, but he really hasn't been exposed that much yet in competitive play, so I'm really hoping that one day, some really good competitive player will pick him up, try to make him good, but for now, he overall, pretty good character, not the best, not the worst, and he's especially good in casual play as it is. Right as you saw this list, I'm sure many of the Xenoblade fans immediately chose Shulk as one of their top picks. Now the reason for this, of course, is that he can be good at a lot of things with his different arts. At first, this looked quite overpowered in the direct and all that type of stuff, but after a little while, fans started to figure out that it is actually pretty balanced. Shulk's original kit is pretty strong, but it's really not that overpowered, and it's a very balanced kit in comparison because it does have a lot of cooldown in a lot of its attacks. The range is very good, but it just takes a lot of time for it to come out, and some of the damage isn't the best. He does have some combos, some pretty high damage, but he does have that big lag, which really can make him punished for a lot of stuff, but gives him a lot of reward when he does hit. Finally, I think the Monado arts are all pretty balanced. They can always give Shulk a great buff, but sometimes can really give him a bad negative. That can smash Shulk right in the face and end up killing Shulk really early when he should have lived for a lot longer. For my number one pick, I once again headed for the OP Brawl character, that being Meta Knight. In this new game though, they did nerf him quite a bit, well, especially one of his best spammable moves being his Tornado, but it actually kept a lot of his kill power, kept a lot of his combos, and kept quite a bit of his survivability, so even though he can't spam as much, he's still pretty good. He really may not be as good as he once was, overall Meta Knight is actually still pretty strong in most aspects of Smash 4. He isn't the best at really anything, but he is really a jack of all traits in this type of game, and it really allows him to be very good in a lot of matchups. Just overall a good character, but really not OP, he doesn't have the best matchups, he's just pretty good and can overall do pretty well. He usually gets placed around 20 in the tier list, so it's really not way too bad. Meta Knight is really hard to learn though, and must take a lot of time to learn to try to get good at him. Also, he does require getting a lot of reads to get kills because his kill moves are very slow, but he's still really viable to play at top levels if you are willing to put in the time and if you are very good at the mind games.
Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to tell me next week which type of top five list you want, and I'll definitely do that. I'm running a little bit low on ideas, only have like 15 or something more, so adding more to my list is definitely always a good plan. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.